Hey kids, have you ever been given a second chance? Maybe you did bad on a math test, but your teacher let you try again. Or maybe you got in trouble and your parents decided they weren't going to ground you. And today we're going to see what happened to Jonah after he got eaten by a big fish. Jonah prayed to God from inside the fish. After three days and three nights of living in a fish, Jonas finally decided to reach out to God. He prayed to God and admitted that he did something wrong, and he was ready to do the right thing. He realized that God knew exactly what he was doing, and there was no way for him to run away from it. God made the fish spit Jonah out. God heard Jonah's apology, and God forgave him. And then he made the fish spit him right out. Jonah could have sat there and be mad at God for letting him be eaten by a fish. Or he could have just turned away from God altogether. But Jonah knew that the only way to get out of the fish was to talk to God. Jonah ended up going God's way after all. All that time in a fish's belly made Jonah realize that he needs to do what God wants him to. So he went to Nineveh and gave them God's message. And he told them that in 40 days, God was going to destroy them if they didn't start being nice. What happened next was pretty surprising. Everyone in the whole town apologized to God. So God gave him a second chance, and he did not destroy their town. So kids, what's the lesson we can learn from this story? God gives everyone second chances. God gave Jonah and the mean Ninevites a second chance. And he'll give us a second chance too. Memory verse. God's mercies begin new each morning. He'll give you a second chance, a third chance, a fourth chance, and more after that. And that's because God loves us no matter what, and he wants us to do the right thing, even if it takes a long time. So kids, every time your math teacher gives you a second chance on that test, think of this lesson. God gave Jonah and the Ninevites a second chance, and he'll give us one too.